Two arrests made by the Monroe County Sheriff's Office after a kidnapping at a microtel in Henrietta yesterday that left a woman in the hospital. The crime caught on camera, a warning some of the video might be tough to watch for viewers out there. Christian Garzone spoke to the Sheriff's Office this afternoon and joins us now with more. Christian, what can you tell us? Yeah, the sheriff's office told News 8 this woman was being sex trafficked at that microtel on Lehigh Station Road in Henrietta. And this was her attempt at trying to escape from the clutches of those who were using her by asking for help at the front desk. Again, we want to warn viewers this video might be tough to watch. The deputies responded just minutes after the call came in. The sheriff's office said this video shows the victim at the front desk as she is dragged out the door, allegedly by the female suspect, Shantiana Sims. Then the male suspect Cordell Brooks allegedly comes in the front door to assist with the kidnapping dragging the victim out to a van. Now they were caught. Both Sims and Brooks are in custody and charged with kidnapping and assault. We were told they were cooperative with police. The suspects are both from the city of Rochester. Here's investigator David Bolton who helped with the case. He said the victim is now in the hospital and is getting the help she needs. Oftentimes we talk about prostitution and we say it's a, it's a victimless crime, but it really isn't. And this woman was definitely a victim, uh, and, and ultimately a victim who was in great physical peril uh, due to what was going on. Her, you know, her life circumstance put her in a place where this is, this is the way she had to survive. Uh, so, I mean, this is what, what sex trafficking is, uh, what abduction is, what kidnapping is. That's, that's that video. Is, 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 it's, not, it's not a victimless crime in any way. Okay. The suspects are being held in the county jail on $100,000 bail. No word yet on their court date. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8, John Natalie, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. The arrest of the suspects and the recovery of the victim also included the Marshals Task Force and the RPD.